Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So in my previous video, I have explained to you how to calculate uh, initial velocity of the reaction using my callis menten equation. Whenever uh, maximum velocity is provided to you, substrate concentration is provided to you and uh, Km is also provided. So all you got to do is just uh, remember my callis menten equation. And the my callis menten equation, uh, just for uh, uh, to recap, so I'm writing here initial velocity vi equals to uh, maximum velocity v max uh, times substrate concentration over km uh, plus substrate concentration. Remember this. You got to you know uh, memorize this equation really well. Uh, initial velocity equals to maximum velocity times substrate concentration over km plus substrate concentration. Uh, one of the mnemonic, uh, one of the uh, like no audience uh, written in this particular uh, in in my previous video in the comments is uh, Victoria secret keep the secret just as just as a mnemonic. Anyway, so let's uh, take some numbers to calculate initial velocity and then I will explain you what is the purpose of this video uh, is I wanted to explain you how to cal uh, calculate km when initial velocity is provided v max is provided and substrate uh, concentration is also provided in order for me to explain uh, how to calculate uh, km when all the other three values are given uh, first let me explain you how initial velocity is uh, calculated and then uh, we will use the same number uh, uh, and then take away km value and uh, calculate it and see if we, if it is the same thing that we get uh, from the uh, values that I'm I'll be calculating right now. Okay, so let's take some numbers v max I will take uh, 6 substrate concentration. I will take 2 uh, Km I will take 4 and uh, Plus substrate concentration it is 2 substrate concentration is 2 v max is 6 uh, Km is 4 and uh, substrate is 2 anyway. So now uh, simplify this 6 multiplied by 2 it is 12 and uh, for 4 plus 2 it is 6 so that means it will be 2 initial velocity is 2 okay so you will have to simplify this 6 1 and uh, 6 2 so that means 2 there okay so vi equals to 2 now we know initial velocity is uh, 2 here let's move on to see how to calculate km when initial velocity is given maximum velocity is given and substrate concentration is given let's get into that now all right so uh, again initial velocity equals to v max times substrate concentration plus km uh, plus substrate concentration not plus over km plus substrate concentration okay that's the formula michaelis menten equation now we know the initial velocity so i will take two from the previous uh, problem that we have solved maximum velocity is six substrate concentration is two and uh, consider that you don't know the km km value you need to uh, calculate so just write it as km there plus substrate concentration is two okay now all you need to do is uh, cross multiply so 2 times km plus substrate concentration that is 2 km plus 2 there uh, and equals to 6 multiplied by 2 all you need you are doing is you are bringing all this and towards this side left side there so that means 2 times km plus uh, 2 that's what you need to do this is just a simple math there so and then let's simplify more so 2 km plus 2 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 2 km plus 4 so because everything is 2 times there right so you got to multiply so equals to 6 times 2 is 12 right now what do you do 2 km uh, this plus if you want to move move this number uh, towards this side right so you need to uh, do like this 12 minus 4 that's a that's basically the math there simple math so and then let me take you to the other side um, so it was 2 km 2 km equals 12 minus 4 right so 2 km 
equals 12 minus 4 is 8. So Km equals 8 over 2 and that will be Km equals 4. Okay. So this is what the Km that we got from my uh, in the very first uh, problem that we have solved. So this is what we got Km. So we have uh, basically confirmed that so the method that we are using to calculate Km when other values are given is correct. Okay. So because in my original problem, so I have taken Vmax as 6, uh, substrate concentration as 2, Km as 4 and substrate concentration 2. So we got initial velocity as 2 there. So we just use the initial velocity and uh, we just took away the Km in the next problem uh, just to reconfirm whether we get the same number. So we got 4. So this is how you can calculate Km whenever uh, you are provided with initial velocity, maximum velocity and substrate concentration. So all you need to do is just do the simple math there. Okay. So that's all about it. So, uh, I hope this video has helped you. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can consider subscription to this channel and uh, press that bell icon so that uh, you get notification when I whenever I upload a video. Uh, see you in my another video or uh, some other video that I'll be uh, doing or uh, any video that you will be watching in my channel. Till then, you take care.